Welcome back to Sissy Maya. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss an update. Additionally, consider subscribing to my Patreon to get access to these features, and much more. The sun stretched its golden fingers over the tranquil suburban neighborhood of Willow Creek, casting a warm glow upon the neatly manicured lawns and cozy homes. In one of these homes, nestled amidst a row of charming houses, lived Jack and Emily, a couple seemingly content in their picturesque life. Jack, a 35-year-old accountant with a pangshang for orderliness, shuffled into the kitchen with a yawn, his worn slippers padding softly against the hardwood floor. Emily, his 32-year-old wife, hummed a tune as she expertly flipped pancakes on the sizzling skillet, her long, chestnut hair cascading over her shoulders in loose waves. Jack's morning routine unfolded like clockwork. He poured himself a cup of steaming coffee, the rich aroma enveloping him in a comforting embrace, and settled at the kitchen table. Emily's smile, radiant as the morning sun, greeted him as she placed a plate of fluffy pancakes and crispy bacon in front of him. With practiced efficiency, Jack scanned the morning newspaper, his eyes flicking across the headlines with keen interest. Emily's soft laughter filled the air as she regaled him with anecdotes from the latest neighborhood gossip, her melodious voice a soothing melody in the early hours. After savoring the last bite of his breakfast, Jack rose from the table with a satisfied sigh. He pressed a tender kiss to Emily's cheek, a silent acknowledgement of their unspoken bond, before grabbing his briefcase and heading out the door. The familiar sights of Willow Creek greeted Jack as he stepped outside, the cool morning air invigorating his senses. Mr. and Mrs. Thompson, their elderly neighbors, waved cheerfully from across the street, their fluffy Samoyed, snowball, bouncing at their heels. Morning, Jack. Mr. Thompson called out, his voice brimming with warmth. Don't forget about the barbecue next weekend. We're counting on those famous ribs of yours. Jack grinned in response, a twinkle of pride in his eyes. Wouldn't miss it for the world, Mr. Thompson. You can count on me to bring my A-game. With a final wave, Jack continued down the sidewalk, the gentle hum of the neighborhood awakening around him. His silver sedan awaited him, a steadfast companion amidst the ebb and flow of daily life. As he settled into the driver's seat, Jack felt a sense of contentment wash over him. Willow Creek may have been a small town, but within its borders lay the heart of his world, a world filled with love, laughter, and the promise of another ordinary day. Jack's footsteps echoed softly through the hallway as he returned home from a long day at the office. The familiar scent of Emily's cooking enveloped him like a warm embrace, drawing him towards the heart of their home. Entering the living room, Jack paused, his gaze sweeping over the space with a furrowed brow. Something seemed different, not drastically so, but enough to catch his attention. His eyes narrowed as he noticed his sock drawer, usually a jumbled mess, now meticulously organized by color. Puzzlement flickered across Jack's features, but he shrugged it off, attributing it to Emily's pangshang for tidiness. As Jack settled at the dining table, Emily emerged from the kitchen with a platter of steaming roasted chicken and buttery mashed potatoes. The aroma made Jack's stomach rumble in anticipation, momentarily distracting him from the nagging thoughts swirling in his mind. Midway through the meal, Jack broached the subject of the rearranged items, his tone gentle but probing. Hey Em, did you happen to organize my stuff in the bedroom today? Everything seems, neater than usual. Emily's smile faltered slightly, but she quickly recovered, her response casual. Oh, that. Yeah, I noticed it was getting a bit cluttered, so I thought I'd help out. You know me, always trying to keep things tidy, Jack nodded though unease still prickled at the back of his mind. He pushed aside his concerns, chalking it up to Emily's well-intentioned efforts to maintain order in their home. Later that evening, Jack sought solace in the familiar routine of his nightly grooming ritual. He entered the bathroom, the soft glow of candlelight casting a warm hue over the tiled walls. As he reached for his aftershave, Jack's hand paused in mid-air, frozen by the sight before him. In place of his usual bottle, a floral-scented lotion now occupied the spot, its delicate fragrance wafting towards him. 
Confusion clouded Jack's features as he picked up the bottle, turning it over in his hands. His mind raced with questions, but the answers remained elusive, shrouded in mystery. Heart pounding with a mixture of frustration and curiosity, Jack stormed into the kitchen, the bottle of lotion clutched tightly in his hand. Emily, we need to talk, he began, his voice firm but tinged with uncertainty. Emily turned towards him, her expression serene but guarded. What's on your mind, Jack? Jack wasted no time in addressing the elephant in the room. I found this in the bathroom, he said, holding out the bottle of lotion for Emily to see. Care to explain why my aftershave has been replaced with floral-scented lotion? Emily's gaze flickered briefly, but she maintained her composure. Oh, that. I must have picked it up by mistake at the store. Sorry if it's not your usual scent. Doubt gnawed at Jack's resolve, but he pushed it aside, unwilling to confront the implications of Emily's vague explanation. He nodded tersely, though the unease lingered like a shadow, refusing to be ignored. The subtle changes in their home weighed heavily on Jack's mind like a persistent itch he couldn't scratch. Each day seemed to bring new alterations orchestrated by Emily, from his neatly arranged shirts to the unfamiliar scent of floral-scented lotion in the bathroom. Despite his attempts to dismiss them as mere coincidences, Jack's unease festered, a growing knot of suspicion in the pit of his stomach. Jack's fingers drummed nervously on the kitchen table as he observed Emily bustling about, her movements graceful yet purposeful. His gaze flickered to the shelves, where his grooming products had been replaced with feminine alternatives, the labels adorned with delicate script that seemed out of place in their masculine domain. As Emily set a plate of steaming pasta in front of him, Jack hesitated, his appetite diminished by the weight of his concerns. Emily, can we talk? He ventured, his voice barely above a whisper. Emily turned towards him, her expression bright with anticipation. Of course, sweetheart. What's on your mind? Jack hesitated, unsure of how to articulate his growing unease. It's just. I've been noticing some changes around the house lately. Like my shirts, for example, they're arranged differently than usual. And the grooming products, they're not what I'm used to. Emily's brow furrowed in confusion, though her smile remained intact. Oh, that. I must have tied it up a bit while you were at work. You know how much I love a clean house. Jack's shoulders tensed at her explanation, though he forced a nod of agreement. Right, of course. Must have slipped my mind. As the evening wore on, Jack found himself consumed by internal turmoil, his thoughts swirling like a tempestuous sea. He struggled to reconcile Emily's innocent demeanor with the mounting evidence of her deception, torn between wanting to believe in her sincerity and the nagging doubts that gnawed at his conscience. The uncertainty gnawed at Jack's resolve, leaving him feeling adrift in a sea of conflicting emotions. He longed for clarity, for reassurance that his suspicions were unfounded, yet each passing moment seemed to deepen the chasm of doubt that threatened to swallow him whole. Desperate for answers, Jack discreetly reached out to friends and family, hoping to find confirmation or validation of his suspicions. Yet, his inquiries yielded little more than shrugged shoulders and dismissive assurances that he was overreacting. Frustration mounted as Jack found himself increasingly isolated in his struggle to uncover the truth, his sense of desperation deepening with each unanswered question. Despite his best efforts, the truth remained elusive, leaving him feeling more lost and alone than ever before. With a heavy heart, Jack resigned himself to the uncertainty looming over their lives. He convinced himself that he was simply overreacting, that Emily's explanations were genuine and his fears unfounded. Clinging to the hope that their marriage remained intact, Jack chose to bury his suspicions rather than risk damaging their relationship. Though the shadow of doubt lingered, a constant reminder of the fragility of trust, Jack forced himself to accept Emily's innocence, if only to preserve the semblance of normalcy in their lives. With a weary sigh, he pushed aside his concerns, resigning himself to the uncertainty that lay ahead. The gentle click of the front door echoed through the hallway as Jack stepped into the warmth of their home, greeted by the comforting aroma of Emily's cooking. His footsteps faltered as he made his way to the bathroom, 
a sense of unease tugging at the edges of his consciousness. Standing before the bathroom mirror, Jack's breath caught in his throat as he stared at his reflection. His chestnut-coloured hair, once a familiar sight, now bore a soft shade of brown, eerily reminiscent of Emily's own locks. Shock coursed through him like a bolt of lightning, his mind struggling to comprehend the gravity of what he was seeing. In a daze, Jack reached out to touch the strands of his hair, as if hoping that the reality before him would dissolve like a mirage. But the hair remained, a tangible reminder of the deception that had unfolded under his own roof. Determined to confront Emily, Jack stormed into the kitchen, his heart pounding with a mixture of anger and disbelief. Emily, what have you done? he demanded, his voice trembling with emotion. Emily turned towards him, her expression faltering for a fraction of a second before settling into a mask of innocence. Jack, I can explain, she began, her voice tinged with unease. But Jack would hear none of it. Explain. How could you do this to me? he interjected, his words laced with betrayal. You dyed my hair without my consent, Emily. How could you betray my trust like this? The facade of innocence crumbled around Emily as Jack's accusations pierced through her defenses. With a heavy sigh, she confessed to her manipulation, her voice tinged with regret. I just wanted you to understand, Jack, she admitted, her eyes filled with sorrow. I wanted a partner who was more, submissive, more feminine. I thought if I made these changes, we could be closer, happier. Jack's world tilted on its axis as Emily's motivations were laid bare before him. The realization cut through him like a knife, shattering his illusions of their marriage and leaving him adrift in a sea of betrayal. As Emily's words hung heavy in the air, she presented Jack with an ultimatum. Accept his new identity or face the consequences of their fractured marriage. Fear and uncertainty churned within Jack, his heart torn between his desire for autonomy and his lingering love for Emily. For a moment, he wavered, the weight of Emily's words pressing down upon him like a suffocating blanket. But deep within him, a spark of defiance flickered to life, a determination to reclaim control over his life burning brightly in his chest. With newfound resolve, Jack made his decision. He refused to be held captive by Emily's deceit any longer, refusing to sacrifice his identity on the altar of her desires. In that moment, he found a strength he never knew he possessed, a determination to forge his own path forward, no matter the cost. Jack retreated to the sanctuary of their bedroom, the weight of Emily's ultimatum bearing down on him like a leaden cloak. Alone with his thoughts, he paced the familiar confines of the room, the air heavy with tension and unspoken words. His heart wrestled with conflicting emotions, torn between his love for Emily and his longing for autonomy. As the minutes stretched into eternity, a resolve simmered within Jack's chest, a determination to confront Emily and reclaim control over his life. With each step towards the kitchen, his resolve hardened, his footsteps echoing with newfound determination. With purpose fueling his steps, Jack entered the kitchen to find Emily standing at the sink, her back turned to him. Emily, he began, his voice steady, we need to talk. Emily turned towards him, her gaze meeting his with a mixture of apprehension and defiance. What is it, Jack? she asked, her voice guarded. With unwavering resolve, Jack laid bare the extent of Emily's manipulation, his words cutting through the air like a knife. I know what you've been doing, Emily, he declared, his voice tinged with accusation. You've been trying to change me, to mold me into someone I'm not. The color drained from Emily's face as Jack's words washed over her like a wave, her heart heavy with guilt and remorse. Jack, I... She began, her voice faltering. But Jack pressed on, his resolve unyielding. You've taken away my autonomy, my sense of self, he continued, his words ringing with conviction. And I won't stand for it any longer. As the truth of their fractured marriage hung heavy in the air, Jack and Emily confronted the harsh reality of their actions. They laid bare their vulnerabilities and fears, facing the truth of their shortcomings and the wounds they had inflicted upon each other. Tears welled in Emily's eyes as she faced the depth of Jack's pain, her own sense of betrayal mirrored in his gaze. I never meant to hurt you, Jack, she confessed, her voice trembling with emotion. 
I was just scared, unsure of how to bridge the gap between us. Jack's heart softened at Emily's admission, the walls he had erected around himself beginning to crumble. I know, Emily, he replied, his voice tinged with compassion. But we can't continue like this. We need to rebuild, to rediscover what it means to be us. Together, they faced the truth of their fractured marriage, the wounds of the past laid bare before them. But amidst the pain and uncertainty, a glimmer of hope shone through, a promise of redemption and renewal as they embarked on a journey to rebuild what was broken. Emily's determination to feminize Jack intensified, her efforts relentless as she devised one scheme after another to mold him into her ideal image of femininity. She delighted in planning outings aimed at further feminizing Jack, from shopping trips for women's clothing to spa days and makeup tutorials. Despite Jack's growing discomfort, Emily remained undeterred, her excitement palpable as she dragged him along on her crusade. One sunny afternoon, Emily whisked Jack away to a trendy boutique in downtown Willow Creek, her eyes alight with anticipation. Amidst racks of flowing dresses and delicate blouses, Jack felt increasingly out of place, the unfamiliar fabrics like a weight pressing against his skin. Reluctantly, he tried on various outfits under Emily's watchful eye, his discomfort evident in the way he shifted uncomfortably in the dressing room. Another day, Emily surprised Jack with a spa day, eager to pamper him with a full makeover and manicure. Jack's apprehension grew with each passing moment as the aesthetician fussed over him, his masculinity slipping away with each coat of nail polish and swipe of lipstick. Despite his discomfort, Jack forced a smile, determined to appease Emily and avoid further conflict. In the privacy of their home, Emily insisted on giving Jack a makeup tutorial, her enthusiasm unbridled as she demonstrated the art of femininity. Jack sat rigidly in front of the mirror as Emily applied layers of foundation and eyeshadow, his reflection a stark reminder of the person he no longer recognized. With each stroke of the brush, Jack's sense of self eroded, replaced by an unsettling uncertainty about his identity. As Emily praised his progress, Jack's facade of compliance began to crumble. Overwhelmed by her relentless efforts to change him, he could no longer suppress the turmoil raging within him. With a trembling voice, he confronted Emily, his words a desperate plea for understanding. I can't do this anymore, Emily, Jack confessed, his voice trembling with emotion. I can't keep pretending to be someone I'm not. I need you to accept me for who I am. Emily's shock was palpable as Jack asserted his autonomy, his words a defiant declaration of his refusal to be moulded into her ideal image. In that moment, the facade of their marriage cracked, revealing the fissures that had been building beneath the surface. As they stood on the precipice of uncertainty, Jack's declaration marked the beginning of a new chapter, one where he would no longer be held captive by Emily's expectations. Alone in the dimly lit confines of their bedroom, Jack's turmoil was palpable, his heart heavy with the weight of betrayal. He sat on the edge of their bed, the silence of the night pressing down on him like a suffocating blanket, his thoughts consumed by the painful truth of his shattered marriage. In the stillness of the night, Jack's mind replayed the events that had led to his current predicament, each memory a dagger to his heart. He remembered the moments of bliss, the laughter shared with Emily, now tainted by the bitter taste of betrayal. How could the person he once trusted most inflict such pain upon him? Amidst the darkness, a faint glimmer of hope flickered within Jack's heart, a fragile beacon in the sea of despair. Despite the overwhelming sense of loss, he clung to the possibility of redemption, desperate for a way out of the darkness that threatened to consume him. Perhaps, somewhere amidst the chaos, there lay a path towards healing and reconciliation. Determined to find a way forward, Jack reached out to trusted friends and family, seeking solace and guidance in his time of need. Their voices offered a sliver of comfort, their words of encouragement a balm to his wounded soul. Together, they explored the tangled web of emotions that gripped Jack's heart, searching for answers amidst the chaos. With each passing moment, Jack's resolve strengthened, his spirit tempered by the fires of adversity. Though the road ahead may be fraught with challenges, he faced it with renewed determination, ready to reclaim control over his life. No longer would he allow himself to be defined by the actions of others, 
he would carve his own path towards healing and resilience. As the night wore on, Jack's heart grew lighter, buoyed by the unwavering support of those who stood by his side. Though the scars of betrayal may never fully heal, he embraced the journey towards forgiveness and self-discovery, knowing that with each step forward, he moved closer to reclaiming his sense of self. In the hush of the evening, Jack found himself engulfed in a tempest of emotions. His mind, once clouded by confusion and despair, suddenly cleared, a beacon of clarity illuminating his path forward. With a surge of determination, Jack realized that he could no longer allow himself to be ensnared in Emily's web of deception. His autonomy, his very sense of self, hung in the balance, and he knew that he had to take a stand. This would be the final confrontation, the moment where he would reclaim control over his life. As the realization dawned upon him, Jack began to formulate a plan. He needed to expose Emily's deceit, to shine a light on the darkness that had clouded their marriage. With each step, he carefully weighed the risks and potential consequences, determined to see his plan through to the end. Armed with resolve, Jack set out to gather evidence of Emily's manipulation. He combed through their home with a meticulous eye, searching for any clue that would reveal the truth. Emails, text messages, receipts, nothing escaped his scrutiny as he pieced together a damning portrait of Emily's actions. With the evidence in hand, Jack confronted Emily one final time. His voice, steady with resolve, echoed through the room as he laid bare the truth of her manipulation. Emily's protests fell on deaf ears as Jack refused to be swayed by her lies. This was his moment of reckoning, the culmination of months of deceit and betrayal. In the aftermath of the confrontation, Jack felt a weight lift from his shoulders, a sense of liberation coursing through his veins. He had broken free from Emily's control, reclaimed his autonomy and sense of self. Though the road ahead was uncertain, he faced it with a newfound strength and resilience, ready to embrace the future on his own terms. As the echoes of their final confrontation faded into the night, Jack felt a sense of peace wash over him. He had emerged from the darkness, battered but not broken, ready to write the next chapter of his life. And as he stepped into the unknown, he knew that he would face whatever challenges came his way with courage and determination. In the heart of their living room, Jack stood tall, his resolve unwavering as he confronted Emily, demanding accountability for her actions. Emily, we need to talk, Jack's voice cut through the tension, his gaze steady as he locked eyes with his wife. Emily's initial reaction was one of shock, her eyes widening in disbelief at Jack's sudden assertiveness. What's this about, Jack? she replied, attempting to feign innocence. But Jack was not to be swayed. With each word, he laid bare the truth of Emily's manipulation, his voice steady but firm as he recounted the moments of deceit and betrayal. Caught off guard by Jack's accusations, Emily's instinct was to deny any wrongdoing. Jack, you're overreacting, she protested, her voice tinged with desperation. I was just trying to help you, to make you a better person. But Jack saw through her facade, his eyes hardening with resolve. Help me. Is that what you call it? He retorted, his voice laced with bitterness. You've been manipulating me, Emily, trying to mold me into someone I'm not. As Jack persisted in his accusations, Emily's defenses began to crumble. The weight of guilt and remorse bore down on her like a leaden cloak, her carefully constructed facade falling away to reveal the vulnerable woman beneath. Tears welled in Emily's eyes as she struggled to come to terms with the truth of Jack's words. I never meant to hurt you, Jack, she confessed, her voice barely above a whisper. I was just scared, insecure. Confronted with the painful reality of her actions, Emily was forced to reckon with the consequences of her manipulation. She felt a sense of shame and regret wash over her, her heart heavy with the knowledge of the pain she had inflicted upon Jack. For the first time, Emily truly saw the depth of Jack's suffering, her own role in his anguish laid bare before her. She felt a surge of remorse course through her veins, a desire to make amends and rebuild what they had lost. In a moment of clarity, Emily extended a trembling hand towards Jack, her eyes brimming with tears. I'm so sorry, Jack, she whispered, her voice choked with emotion. Please forgive me. 
Jack hesitated for a moment, his heart torn between resentment and compassion. But as he looked into Emily's eyes, he saw a flicker of genuine remorse, a glimmer of hope for redemption. With a sigh, Jack reached out and took Emily's hand in his own, a silent acknowledgement of their shared humanity. I forgive you, Emily, he replied, his voice soft but firm. But we have a lot of work to do if we're going to rebuild our trust. In the quiet moments of reflection, Jack realized the importance of embracing his true identity. No longer would he hide behind masks of conformity, instead, he would boldly step into the light, unapologetically himself. With determination coursing through his veins, Jack embarked on a journey of self discovery. He experimented with new styles of clothing, shedding the restrictive garments of societal expectations in favor of outfits that reflected his inner truth. As Jack reflected on his journey, he realized that true strength lay not in conformity, but in embracing the fullness of who he was. With a renewed sense of purpose, he embraced the unknown with open arms, ready to embark on the next chapter of his life with courage and conviction.